This lady is, without a doubt, my favourite vocalist at the minute in the world. I've been playing her music for absolutely ages. Let me give you some of the stats. These are incredible stats. 3.2 billion global streams, 17 million monthly subscribers on Spotify. She's the queen of dance music. She's worked with the likes of Guerra, Pete Tong, Sagala, and now she's got an incredible brand new single out today with Galantis called Run. Introducing... Becky Hill! Oh, what an intro that was. Thank you so much. Becky, um, it's been an absolute pleasure. I talk about your your music and your voice um, on the radio and have done for as long as I've been playing your music and I've always wanted to have a chat with you. Um, you've just got a lovely voice. I've seen you at the SSE in Belfast with Pete Tong and the Heritage Orchestra um, about four years ago. And How amazing um, is that show? It's just such a show, it really is. But you're... you're I mean, whatever you do, you just bring your own voice, your personality, and just a lot of love for dance music and, and music in general. You can just hear it in every track. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, this has been an obsession that started when I was about 10. Um, you know, I love music. I love especially dance music. And I think, you know, it's a, it's kind of an underrated genre uh, um, or, or category, if you will. Um, but I love all sorts of sectors of dance music. I'm, an, I'm originally a drum and bass head. Um, I started my own podcast called The Art of Rave, which was all about dance music, where I got to introduce, in, interview my, my heroes, essentially. So, yeah, love it. <laughs> so just on that note, um, who are your heroes at dance music? Well, I think, who did I speak to? I spoke to Andy C, DJ Zinc. Fabio and Groove Rider. Um, I really want to talk to Jenna G next season series. Um, I really want to speak to Fatboy Slim next series. I spoke to Felix from Basement Jacks. Um, so yeah, all of those really. A little kid raving around her room, couldn't wait to be 18 so she could go to the clubs. And those guys really are kind of, you know, from, from your Fatboy Slims to your your Fabio and Groove writers right across the, the rest of the crew there. That, that kind of almost does the whole spectrum of electronic dance music. And that is interesting because your voice has been heard in quite a lot of the, the, the electronic dance music spectrum. Um, and this track that you have with Galantis, um, tell, us, tell us about that. How did that come about? How, how, I mean, how did that come out of the air? So um, I was sent a song actually from Galantis to vocal. Um, and being the songwriter in me, um, I fell in love with the instrumental and asked for the instrumental and stole it off them and then came up with the little chorus hook, which all I had was the run and we run and we run further away from love. That's all I had. And um, I happened to be in studio with my best friend, Emily e. Kay, who um, me and him have been writing together. Together, We pieced the whole song around those two lines that we had. And, um, and yeah, I honestly think this is the best single I've ever, I've ever put out. Wow, that's a big, that's a big statement. <laughs> no, I really do think it is like, you know, I, I loved Remember. And I was me, I wrote it with a woman called Karen Paul, who wrote Lola's theme, I'm a different person with the uh, shapeshifters um, and a load of other stuff. And um, I've been very good friends with Karen for, for, for years now through through writing. And I loved that song. I loved doing Remember. And I was even like happier that um, that Getter wanted to be on it, like how incredible. Um, but I really think this one is is the the pop dance hit that I've I've been waiting for essentially. And I mean, I particularly liked a back and forth um, with him. Thanks. Just I love that that I was one of the first people in Northern Ireland to break that track on the radio, um, and I just absolutely I, I listen from there right right up to now. Everything that you've been doing has just been absolutely incredible. But here's a here's an interesting question for you, Becky Hill. Out of all of those people that you've worked with, there's bound to be somebody that you haven't had a chance to work with who you want to work with. So who would that be? Who, who's your kind of, what, what's what's next for Becky Hill? I mean, you basically, look, oh, by the way, sorry, late to the show. Congratulations on the Brits. Sorry about that. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. See, this is the thing, right? We could just talk about dance music all day. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I, I, I struggled not to start talking about my love of dance music for hours and hours on my Brit Awards speech. But yes, um, I would love to work with the other people in the category. I mean, I said it on the night, like I'd love to work with with um, Calvin Harris, Fred again. Me and Joel have been in the studio together. I'd love to sing with Ray. So it's um, those sorts of people. I thought I was in such an incredibly tough category, um, which is why it was so incredible for, to, to have that win, but I'd love to work with them all. I mean, you're talking to, you're talking to somebody here who, who is absolutely um, eaten, slept, and, 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 and braved dance music for the last 30 years. So, I, I mean, I absolutely love it. Um, and it's just absolutely incredible that I'm, I'm really getting the chance. I make it myself. I know how difficult it is to make. I have a brand new found appreciation for somebody who's able to create a hit record in the space of, of, of three minutes uh, and, and deliver it in two minutes and 50 seconds and less now uh, for Spotify. Um, what, what's 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 going to be next further down the line in 2022 for Becky Hill after Galantis and Run being released today? So there's a huge live festival run coming up in my favourite season of the music industry, which is festival season. Um, there'll be a lot of that. Um, a lot of festivals have started to travel internationally now. So I think I'm playing places like Benicassium and Ibiza and um, lots of incredible stuff like that. I'm also starting to write album two. And I'm really excited about album two because it's going to be like... I was really inspired by my work with the Pete Tong Orchestra and I've been, um, you know, the, the Heritage Orchestra because I, I've i been with them now, this will be my fifth year of doing shows with them. Um, and my manager keeps saying, are you sure you want to do it? And I'm like, yeah, I'd like, why wouldn't I? The, the orchestra, by the way, are mental and they're all lovely. Um, but it's it's so inspiring to hear dance records being played by real instruments. So I really want to encapture some of that kind of real instruments being played in a dance sphere um, for my next album. Well, listen, um, there's nothing that I can't say that I've already said. Um, I, I absolutely adore your voice. I adore your music. I adore your, your um, even just the way you carry yourself and the way that you're portrayed in socials um it's, it's just it's very classy and i think that's very cool and it's lovely that you're able to bring the underground side of dance music to the foreground and pop music and you just it works every single time with your voice and thank you success and um thank you so much because i don't think anybody's ever called me classy before but i've always thought i have been <laughs> i'm classy in a very normal way so i appreciate that you want to know something <laughs> becky hill as long as you think you're classy and i'm telling you you're classy we are both classy we're, together we're right we're right i love that attitude no thank you so much and thank you so much for all the support and thank you for your time today and and having me on to talk about run as well i i really want this single to do well and um we it can't do well without people like you so thank you so much we're gonna, it. We're gonna play it on the radio i play it across all my radio shows um as much as i can and i will continue to support you continually as you deliver such incredible vibes to the world. Thank you for your music and thank you for the chance to have a chat with you today. Bless you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. It really means a lot. Thanks. Thank you, Becky Hill.